What's going on guys? Check out this package we just got from Lego. That's right, it's Chewbacca. I won't lie, it's a little bit bigger than I thought. So let's build this thing. So taking a look at this set, it is a little bit bigger than I thought, like I just mentioned. And it comes with 2319 pieces, which is pretty funny. I wonder if that's a reference to Monsters, Inc. 2319! We have a 2319! I know a lot of people like to talk about how disturbing the eyes are, but I'm gonna wait and see how they actually look once I build it. And I think what everybody is most excited for is to see how his butt looks, because I really want to make a nice, thick, chewy butt. It looks like the dimensions for the set are 18 inches tall and seven inches wide. That's actually a pretty thick boy. I'm excited to have this. Kind of looks like a giant Sasquatch. And hopefully I can find room to put it in the back of my display. I'm thinking it can go there. Hopefully it fits. Now let's open this sucker up. Nice. For those of you who care, it looks like there are 17 bags in total, one bag per number, which actually means there is only 17 bags, which is kind of nice. Oh, look at that, Chewy. Looks like me in the morning. Oh, look, there's even a little Ahsoka cameo. That's cool. More stuff on Chewy, more stuff on Chewy, more stuff on Chewy. I have that same haircut. Let's get into it. see the final completed Chewbacca set in all of its hairy Wookiee glory. You can see just how large it is compared to a normal minifigure down here. It almost looks insignificant. And here we see the final build for Chewbacca. He is just absolutely massive, especially when you compare him to a normal minifigure. He definitely gives the vibes of a Sasquatch or Bigfoot, which is good because that's what he's kind of based off of. You can see here on the side, they did a good job of implementing all these little curves and these little like rock pieces there to kind of show the fur. It's really hard to represent something really furry in Lego, and I think the Lego designers did a really good job at that, despite it being a total pain to put this set together. And why do I I say that it's because it was just such a pain to read this instruction booklet. You can see here at a glance it almost looks black but it's actually dark brown and thankfully they have these highlighted pieces around so you know what's new in every step but even then that didn't really stop me from messing up dark brown, black, and light brown. But despite all of that, I am very pleased with the model and the eyes actually look pretty good. So the eyes for Chewbacca are actually blue and it made me wonder, wait a minute, does Chewbacca actually have blue eyes? And it turns out he does because the actor Peter Mayhew actually has blue eyes. Go figure. Something else I really like about this are the little toes there that you see, the, these little black teeth piece. It's kind of hard to tell on the bottom, but I am very happy with how it ended up looking. And here is that chewy butt. I know they probably could have done a little bit of a better job to show off just how thick he is. However, I am pretty happy with this. You can probably put a plate under each cheek and that should help with your desires. And overall, this is really just one of those sets that I hated building, but absolutely enjoy seeing built. A big disappointment for me when it comes to this set is that there's really no points of articulation. And I guess maybe that makes sense. Maybe this is supposed to be more of a statue as opposed to like an action figure. So I guess I could kind of get that, but I am very disappointed that you actually cannot take off his feet. His feet are actually part of the set. And so you can kind of pull them off. I'm almost afraid to do it. <laughs> They come off like so, and now you're left with uh, some lucky Wookiee feet down there. It's kind of disturbing when you think about it, so I would not recommend taking his feet off, at least not for the squeamish part. His bowcaster looks pretty good, I'll have to say. It bums me out that I can't really pose with him. I think I wanted to have him in different angles, and you're just kind of stuck with his arms going like that. And this arm doesn't really move as well either. His satchel is something that's kind of interesting. You know, it's just a bunch of the same thing. You do it like nine or ten times all the way around. But it does get the point across. And then, like I said, just looking at this, I'm kind of getting like nightmares about how much brown I had to put on here. I swear this entire model is only like 20 pieces. In the arm there, you see that there's just a bunch of snot bricks in there. It's almost like a giant brick heads build. That's this whole thing is just snot bricks. We're going to have to give Chewbacca a tissue. This crossbow comes with this little cloth piece that to me feels a little bit delicate, but again, it's not something you should really be playing with. This is, again, more of a display piece, right? And if you shake him really fast, you can see him shaking his head like... <laughs> That's right, Chewie. But there is something I did want to try with him. <laughs> Alright, so check this out. It's almost to scale. If you get the Fender Stratocaster Lego idea set, you can put it on him and Chewbacca can be rocking out with his band of rebels, right? Check it out. I found the rebel base. 
actually this is a normal guitar, but you know, take away two strings and you're good to go. I think this is how I'm probably gonna pose him. I will say, unfortunately, I did have to take off his bandolier, but maybe I could figure out a way to make the bandolier part of the strap for the guitar would be something that's cool, but <laughs> it looks really stinking cute, huh? We also can't forget that this set does come with a little UCS plaque, and thank goodness it is not a sticker. It is a printed. In fact, there's no stickers in this set, which is great. There really shouldn't be any stickers in this set, so I'm happy to see that. And it comes with a little Chewbacca minifigure, pretty much the same one that we've been getting for a few years. I feel like I was a little bit harsh on this review, and that's just because I'm a little bit sick of dealing with all these brown slopes. But all in all, I think it's actually a really good set. It makes for a really good display bus, and I'm excited to put it back on my shelf a little bit later. And he's definitely going to be rocking out with his guitar.